Tile flattener is dead. Long live tile combiner. Okay, so watch this. I've dragged out this big multi-level castle prefab, which actually just released on my Patreon today. It's July 3rd, 2023. Okay, so this castle is defended by a horde, so I will drop in a couple of rough-looking guard towers, move them around. Okay, now I've decided that... By the way, these are prefabs, if you're not familiar with prefabs and foundry. I got like a thousand of these. So now I've decided I want to change its background, right? So it's a lava flow uh, originally, but I want to change it to something else. So I'm actually using my unlimited terrain system to cycle through some random terrains. And I'll link to that tutorial here, but all you need to know now is that I'm using a special technique for basically laying an image of terrain over top another tile image. And I'm just like randomly zooming in and stuff. It's just part of the, the macros that make it work. Okay, so a swamp looks good and it fits with my, my current party's story arc. So now I want to consolidate all these background tiles into a single efficient tile that plays really well with like potato PCs and it lets me save my creation for the future. And so enter tile combiner, right? So I select all the tiles I want to consolidate. Then I select my tile combiner settings, click backup and save and voila, my new scene is ready to go. And my extra tiles are replaced automatically by the single consolidated tile. Okay, so many of you, like me, loved DF Architect's old tile flattener feature, right? If you like to make maps inside Foundry, dropping in tiles and prefabs whenever you want, it was a great feature for cleaning things up and combining the final product into this svelte, efficient map for gameplay. But it's been gone for a long time, which has been a bummer. Uh, fortunately, Ripper resurrected that feature in a premium module he calls Media Optimizer, which also comes with another really powerful and new feature, which we'll get into here in a second. You get Media Optimizer along with the rest of Ripper's premium modules just for a single month Patreon subscription. So if you don't support Ripper, recommend you uh, check him out. Uh, really enables a lot of the really cool stuff that we can do in Foundry, including 3D and other crazy stuff. So what's particularly cool is that the tile combiner feature even works with token magic effects overlays, like I use in my unlimited train system. So as I'm changing the train under the castle, I'm actually applying a token magic effects overlay of random terrains. And when I find one I like, tile combiner will just bake that into the overall image, uh, into all the other combined tiles to make this super small and efficient WebP final image and then it replaces everything else. So to use Media Optimizer, you actually have some very specific requirements to achieve first. First, and the easiest way, is I'm actually using Ripper's free Foundry client. I'll link to it in the video description. It is itself a Chromium-based client, and it has the, setting, the settings flag already enabled that you need to make a Media Optimizer work, all its features anyway. If you use that, everything from Media Optimizer just works out of the box. And I'm personally, myself, just kind of generally preferring to use that client because it's just optimized for performance in general. So that's kind of like how I use Foundry these days is with Ripper's client. If you don't use that client or you don't want to, um, you can still use all the features. You just need to either use a Chromium-based browser like Brave or Chrome, of course, Edge, Opera. Uh, that will give you the tile combiner feature that I just showed you, right? To get the media optimization features though, you have one extra step. You actually have to enable a feature flag in your browser to do that. I'm not gonna to try to show you that here. It's relatively straightforward, but it's, it's in Ripper's wiki. It's right on the first page there, how to configure that flag. And so I'll link to it here. So if you have to at least use something Chromium based to use uh, media optimizer, and if you wanna use the media optimization features, which I'll show you, again, you have to turn on that feature flag. And you can usually do that the easiest way is just by adding it to your shortcut. So let's talk about the media optimizer feature. 
first, it works with tiles, videos, and audio. It essentially converts any of those media types to their most optimized versions, right? So like WebP for tiles, WebM for video, and AUG for audio. Uh, those are very, very efficient um, uh, file types where it's you, you really don't lose much quality at all. It's not even noticeable, but it could be a tenth of the size of the normal file. So it serves up really well to your players, takes up a lot less space in your library. It's just generally a best practices way to go. And it also, on top of that, it cleans up or it can clean up your file naming conventions, which helps avoid all kinds of errors. See, a lot of you don't know this, but if you have even spaces or capitals or weird characters, those can actually create errors in your Foundry games, especially if you're um, hosting, uh, using a hosting service or you know, hosting yourself or you're uh, running on Linux servers, which a lot of hosting services are. Uh, Linux doesn't like those weird characters, so this will automatically clean those up as well and just make everything run better. So let's use an example of... Uh, you know, MP3, uh, just like messy MP3 audio files. So I've loaded a bunch of MP3s into this folder using my server folder. I, so I went into my, just my folder structure of my Foundry server, and I just dropped in a bunch of MP3s. Now, if I create a sound beacon and I click into the file path, I can go uh, to that folder where I put all of those messy MP3s, and I can see this media optimizer button. So I'll click that and it just goes to work. Remember, you have to have a Chromium browser and you have to have the settings turned on um, from the wiki to make this work. Otherwise, it'll just throw a bunch of errors. So this, once it's done, this is actually really impressive, right? So if, if any of you have ever tried to use those free media conversion tools online, which I use them all the time, they all suck. They're all terrible. Um, and, but here you've got like all of the media conversion you need for Foundry all baked into Foundry now through Media Optimizer. Of course, uh, modules can't actually delete files. So you will have to go into your server, into your folders after the fact and delete all the old MP3s. But I mean, check this out, right? When you're done, you have a bunch of efficient AUG files, probably a 10th of the size and all the file names are cleaned up, right? So pretty cool. Anyway, thanks to Ripper for resurrecting the tile combiner feature and for introducing this new media optimization tool while you're at it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have questions. I'll try to get Ripper to help answer those. And uh, let, let us both know how you get along with it in general. And in the meantime, everyone, have fun making your maps.